My name is Megan Starnes and I'm your HMIS training coordinator for MDHA. This video will review how to record Data Element 4.12 Current Living Situation. On your screen is a list of project types that are required to record a client's current living situation every time they make contact with that client. For Street Outreach Project's current living situation will be recorded in several scenarios. The first is Project Start. The HMIS intake will include the current living situation for street outreach and any other project type that's required to record current living situation at project start. The second is any conversation between the client and the street outreach worker about topics such as the client's needs or well-being, a housing plan for the client, or referral to other services or organizations. The third is in the instance that nothing has been recorded on the client's record for a defined length of time typically about 90 days. And lastly, it should be recorded at project exit, although it is understood that sometimes there is no contact with a client at exit. In the case that the client is auto-exited, the auto-exit will backdate the client's exit date to the date that the last current living situation was recorded. For night-by-night -night emergency shelters, these requirements are a little different. These programs should only record current living situation when the interaction with the client goes beyond the provision of basic services. Daily sheltering activities like bed registration, meals, care items, and bed nights are considered basic services, so no current living situation is needed when providing these types of care. In addition to appearing inside of the workflow, this data element can be recorded outside of a workflow at any time. Begin by navigating to your client's workspace and searching for the correct client. Remember to search using only the first two or three letters of the client's first and last name. In the Clients menu on the left, under the Profile section, click Current Living Situation. Then click the Add New button. Record the date that you collected this information and choose the appropriate enrollment to attach this information to. Then record the client's current living situation as of that date. You can choose to add details if you'd like, but they're not required. Once you've selected the living situation, click Save. Now you can see that we've recorded this client's current living situation and we're able to see every time this data element was recorded for this client, both in and outside of a workflow. Inside the workflow, this page looks exactly the same. You'll know that you're on the current living situation page of the workflow by the title of the page and by checking your progress bar to see what page you're on here. And that concludes our video for current living situation. Thank you for watching and for doing your part to help us end homelessness in Dallas and Collin counties.